The 108 has served in several capacities before becoming a refueling squadron. Our mission is a critical piece in support of our national defense, and I am proud to be a part of this mission. The United States is a global power. Our Air Force is a global force. Squadrons like the 108th Air Refueling Squadron have played an important part in wars and conflicts throughout history. Each unit has a story to tell. Over the last 90 years since federal recognition and activation in 1927, the 108th has served our nation with honor. Over decades, the squadron has had many different designations. First, as the 108th Observation Squadron, later Reconnaissance, Bomb Squadron, Fighter Bomber Squadron, Interceptor Squadron, and of course, the 108th Air Refueling Squadron. Today, the Air Force as we know it couldn't operate without aerial refueling. Throughout the decades, the 108th Air Refueling Squadron has been dedicated and steadfast to all of our missions. Be it combat air refueling, rapid global mobility, aeromedical evacuation, or providing a critical piece to our nation's nuclear deterrence. Within the refueling mission, the 108th has played a vital role in mission range capabilities and effectiveness. As an air refueling squadron, we provide combat aircraft the fuel they need to accomplish their mission. Air Force and Joint Force missions worldwide depend on us to multiply an aircraft's range and payload capability. We hold a unique place in refueling history because in 1961, when the 108th received the KC-97, the 126th Air Refueling Wing became the first and only Air Refueling Wing in the Air National Guard. We can celebrate our 90-year milestone knowing that the dedicated and faithful men and women of this great squadron will continue to serve our nation whenever called upon. The heritage and legacy of the 108th Air Refueling Squadron will continue to soar.